down Broad Street from here. Uh, and everybody from Coach? I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I, I looked at Fordham's videotape, and I was scared to death. Um, you know, obviously, they, they've lost games, and, and they don't look good on the stat sheet. But one of the things I like to do in scouting is I like to look at people at their best. If you look at their game against Xavier, they are a, a good Atlanta 10 team in that, in that game. There's no question about it. They played Xavier better than anyone this year, maybe, okay? Look at the St. Joe's tape. They got St. Joe's down by 16, and St. Joe's wins just by shooting the ball great down the stretch, okay? Um, I think that when they get down, just because of the recent history, we did a great job in the first half, and at that point, you know, I, I think sometimes the other team's confidence is it goes down a little bit if they've been losing. But listen, I'm thrilled that Brett and Butler can shoot the ball. Uh, Estwick and, and, and uh, uh, Frazier are, are Atlantic 10 level guards. Gaston's an all-conference player. The big kid block shots and rebounds, uh, and, and they're well coached. We play great. It, Maybe in the second half, after a while, they didn't play that well. But listen, if they didn't play well, we had a lot to do with that early on because I'm telling you, that's a better team than what people think. In fact, I almost never do this, but there's one coach in the Atlantic 10 that always says, hey, if I could help you out, give me a call. And he, he's recently played for them. And I said, i got to call you. I said, are these guys as good as – they look so much better on tape than what I thought. How good are they? And he says, they're far more talented than what their record would indicate. So I know they may not have played great once we got them down tonight, uh, but we, we, we did a great job from, from the get-go stopping guys who could score. Eric scored a couple of left-handed baskets early on. Well, Eric, Eric can, he does, there's nothing Eric really can't do with the bat, yeah. He could dribble, shoot threes, left hand, right hand. I mean, we watch him every day. Any people who come in and see him in terms of evaluating him are, I mean, extremely impressed with his talent. That's, that's ordinary for him. That's nothing extraordinary at all. We just see that's what he does every day. He can do that in his sleep. Were you satisfied with his defensive play? Uh, everybody. Him and everybody. He blocked shots. He got rebounds. He had energy. Everybody. Everybody. There's not a guy on our team that I felt played poorly tonight. Would you say these are the two best back-to-back -back games that your team has played? Yeah, may, maybe, but especially defensively. <clears throat> especially defensively. You know, we were pretty good in that three-game stretch, winning at Rhode Island, St. Joe's, and at Charlotte. But, uh, you know, clearly our, our defensive focus is far greater than it's, it's been all year. And it's just, a, frankly, it, it's just a shame it, it, it hasn't been there earlier. And trust me. Uh, we're doing the same things and saying the same things we have all year, and uh, you know, so it's it's a shame it wasn't soon. I, mean, so it, it, I guess it looks like it took a game like the Xavier game to. Yeah, that that's a big part of it. That's a big part of it. There's some other subplots, uh, but uh, um, but yeah, we're much better now, and uh, uh, yeah, we're much better. Anything else? All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys.